Hello everybody and welcome back again to Years First. Today we are going to talk about the Disney, Disney Dining Plan, Deluxe Dining Plan deluxe dining for deluxe. 2018. Now, I can get my little, I go old school, she likes to use her iPad and everything, I like to write things down, so here we are. Got my little notes here, ready to go. Deluxe Dining Plan. Per night is $116.24 per adult per night. Now an adult at Disney is anyone from 10 years old up to the day you die. So <laughs> <laughs> it, it just keeps going on. And I'm offered a senior citizen discount for this as far as I know. Uh, for kids ages three to nine because of um, zero to three, uh, you eat for free. No, not really. They expect you to bring your own food for that. Um, free into the parks though. They're, they are $39.90 for kids ages 3 to 9 per night of your stay. Wow. Yeah, that's actually fairly cheap, but... They have a limited menu. Very limited menu. They're ordered off the kids menu with the little cheeseburgers and mac and cheese. They're they're not, chicken nuggets. Yeah, so if you're going to Mosh or Paul's, which is something to keep in mind, if you're using a table or signature dining for that, which say it's me and a three-year-old or a four-year-old going, uh, excuse me, <laughs> um, it's a signature dining. This is something I want to throw out there right away. It's two table services for an adult at a signature restaurant. It's also a signature off of the kids menu. They have to do two table service credits as well? Yes. Do they have fancier chicken nuggets? I have seen their menus that have some things different, like Musher Paul, I did notice that they have like yeah, steak. steaks yeah. and stuff. Some of the places don't though. You're looking at things that just like anywhere else, you're gonna, if you go to, uh, oh, just trying to, if you go to T-Rex Cafe, um, which is a single table service, um, you might have the same menu there for a kid that you're going to have at Narcoosie's for a kid. So, again, the, the kid's menu at a signature restaurant is still going to use two credits. So it's two credits for everybody that goes to a signature. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I would. <laughs> We've done that with Alex. Alex was over nine when we went. Yes. So it was adult yeah, menu. He, he got the order off the adult menu. He loved the lobster bits because of that. Yes. And he got some. Yachtsman. Yeah, Yachtsman is worth it. Shots of all rotten. <laughs> so, with the deluxe dining plan per person per night, what you are getting, you get two snack credits. We're using the yellow for the snack. You get no quick service. However, you get three <laughs> table service credits per person per night. So, if it's me and Pamela going, and usually this is the only time we do the, the deluxe. We've tried this before once with Alex, it did not work out well. Well, I got sick. Yeah, the, the we, we ended up losing a ton of money off of this because we had so many extra credits left over. Yeah, Ugh. what, 14 table service credits or something? Yeah, it makes it, me hurt. I don't want it, to talk about it. It's sad when I talk about it. Yes, uh, so, the, the, the stomach flu at Disney is horrible for anybody. It's a bad, bad thing. So what you're getting for two people per night is... Um, Four snacks and six table service meals. Yes. And, how, and that goes into your, um, your bank. Yeah, it goes into a bank. So every day that you're there, that's what you're getting. So if you're there two nights, again, you get the four and you get the six. So it, you're there three days, you get six more. It's three per person per night and then two snacks per person per night. It is <laughs> very, very difficult very difficult to eat this much food if you use it as a single table service for every single meal. You could, but you're gonna wish that you hadn't. Yes, because you still have to use your snack credits up. If you don't use your snack credits up, you, you're good to lose money. You're not gonna break even on this. What did they get at each meal with a table service on the deluxe end? And this is where it comes in. All right, for breakfast, you are getting an entree for, for your table service. You get an entree and you get a drink. Uh, for, for breakfast uh, or a full buffet. For lunch and dinner, <laughs> <laughs> sorry about that. Uh, for lunch and dinner, you're getting a drink, you're getting an entree. You're, all right, let me start over. You get a drink, 
you get an appetizer per person. So she, she and I are going, we'll just say, this is, I get a drink, I get my own appetizer, I get my own entree, I get my own dessert. Pamela would get a drink, an appetizer, an entree, and a dessert a for food. lunch and dinner. It's a lot of food, people. Yes, for lunch and dinner, you get each of those. So it is a lot of food. And some people, it's not even worth even thinking about the deluxe dining plan because there's no way possible they can eat that much food. And that's gonna be true for most people. I've talked to people that I work with that have done the deluxe dining plan. I mean, unless you are very strategic with how you plan your meals out, very. you're going to either be miserable or end up with leftover table service credits that yes. you're just giving money back to Nikki. Now, uh, the smartest thing, and I, I, let me stop there. With, you, with this, and if you've seen our other videos, we've explained this. Um, the drink, you can get a soda, which is refillable, or you can get a specialty drink, such as a milkshake or a specialty lemonade or something like that, with your table service credits. And you can also use the table service credit as a uh, quick service. Not worth it. Don't do it. It's, it's a waste <laughs> of money. Because you're looking at, okay, I can go to Liberty Tree Tavern with that credit, or I can go to Casey's Corner with that credit. Which one am I going to sp would um, spend more money? Obviously, Liberty Tree is going to cost more money, so I'm getting more bang for my buck with that credit from there. Yeah. So, um, if you're 21 and over, you get a alcoholic beverage. With, that's new. Yes, that's, for, that's new. only for the 2018, not for 2017, 2018 on, if it is offered at the restaurant. Well, you say 2018, but like if you're staying and you're purchasing dining plan towards the end of this year. It's with the 2018 dining so plan that, yeah. It's, does it roll out until next year? It, yeah, it, it rolls out for the January and later, which just recently you could start booking for oh, okay. January. I see. So that's how that works. So some, some restaurants don't offer alcohol, so you can't get alcohol with it if you're 21 and over. So and there's no refills on it. So if you go to Liberty Tree, there's no wine, no beer there, so you don't you can you can get a specialty drink, but you can't get any alcohol there. Skipper Canteen. Yeah, Skipper Canteen, be our guest, you can. I would imagine though, that, so it's no refills on those specialty drinks, and a lot of times their specialty drinks will come with like a souvenir cup. I'm pretty sure the cup would not the be. Cup, no, the that cup would, would not. Extra charge. Yes, that, that's definitely an upcharge there. So, how do Pamela and I handle the deluxe dining plan when we go? And the main reason we've done the deluxe in the past, one, um, now that we have discounts, we don't do it. We have the annual this pass discount and the DVC discount. We don't bother with the dining plan anymore. But the reason we did it before, and we'll show you, um, we'll go to breakfast and each of us will use a table service credit. Okay, we'll do a we'll do a later breakfast, say 10 or 11 o'clock. So we'll sleep and get a later breakfast. A brunch. We'll take one snack credit each that we had and or maybe even two of them. We'll get a Get a, coffee. get a coffee and a pastry. So we're using four snack credits there. And then, so we went to Cape May Cafe for breakfast. We went to um, Norway there in Epcot and got some school bread and a drink. You know, you get because you, you can get a bottle of Coke with a snack credit. So we got a got that or a twenty ounce fountain. And school get what that bread and we got a drop of this coffee. But that night we decided, hey, we're going to hit up Monster Paul, which is a signature dining. So that's two table services for each of us from there. So if you look at it, each one of us had three. We used up all three right there without overstuffing ourselves. We're still going to be miserable, but it's not going to be nearly as miserable as yeah. we would be if we did you know, table service. At this so. point, the only time you're miserable is because when we're ordering the, the um, dinner, each of us gets an appetizer, and most of the appetizers are meant for two. Now, some places will, uh, like we went to Rainforest Cafe, and they had an appetizer for two, which was a big old yeah, platter, yeah, like huge platter. platter. Check out the video for that. But it was a huge sampler platter, so that oh. that was the. Oh. I'm just having flashbacks now. Yeah, that, that was so. That food was delicious, but oh my so god, much so food. much food. Um. Anyways, um, that was an appetizer made for two people. That's what we got. But you go to Monster Paul, you say you get the. I got the calamari, and she got a bisque of some sort. So there's um, two appetizers, two entrees, 
So you get your complete entree, and then afterwards they say, what do you want for dessert because it's included? <laughs> and usually by that point in the day, you're like, I don't, I don't even, I don't want to see know. the dessert menu. But you do, because you do. it's, Disney desserts, at, especially at the signature restaurants and then the table service restaurants are amazing. Yeah, they're really good. So, on a... Be careful with the scheduling of your snacks, is what I'm trying to say yeah. now. Because you want to make sure that you're not having that snack an hour before you go and sit down yeah. for that three-quarter so, meal. You can have your breakfast at 9 o'clock in the morning, you can have it at 8 o'clock in the morning, and just use the, your snack credits for lunch. Nice light yeah. snack for lunch. You can, you can do it the other way if you wanted, you can do snacks for breakfast table service for dinner or for lunch and for dinner yeah because you could do coffee and a bagel yes. with snack credits and that's your breakfast a specialty coffee maybe and, do an early lunch yeah. and then stretch it out you know do a few miles in the park yeah. and then go to dinner Never, don't use your credits on a, like going to a joffrey's booth for a regular coffee because you can use a resort mug go to the yeah. cafeteria at the resort and fill get it up with a cup of coffee this. and this so, comes with your deluxe dining plan yes. i don't know if we mentioned that but yeah. you get the refillable mug yeah and you get to choose which color you want and all that good stuff so you also have the option, and we've done this before, of going through your day like that. Oh God. Breakfast, lunch, dinner. We'll and garden grill for breakfast, sci-fi <laughs> for lunch, and Ohana for dinner. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so much food. You're not eating a snack that day. No, because Just saying. a lot of these places are all you care to eat or their buffets, and that's Again, that's how it works. At breakfast, you get the entree and a drink or an entire buffet. And same with lunch and dinner, you get the appetizer, entree, dessert, or the entire buffet. Uh, so what you're looking at, entree or buffet for breakfast. Uh, you're looking at, if you're just at sci-fi, you're looking at an appetizer, uh, sandwich of some sort, I'm sure, or whatever you're having for lunch, your entree, and a dessert, with your drink for lunch Ugh. and then you're going to Ohana that night which is all you care to eat and they keep bringing you meat yeah and so with all you care to eat the appetizer and everything's included and in all in the meal that comes with that and so a lot of the places are buffets are all you care to eat and it gets painful it really does now an important note with the deluxe dining plan if you want to make it worth your while Again, research, 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 decide where you want to eat well in advance of your trip, well in advance of your window opening for reservations. And make sure you make your reservations. Yes. Can't stress that enough. If you, especially if you want specific meals at specific restaurants, you need to make those restaurants in advance because there's no guarantee you'll be able to walk in on the yeah, day. Yeah, never, never again. Just assume that if you didn't make reservations, you're not gonna get a seat. There are very few places in the parks that I yeah. would say you could just walk up to and go yeah. in. And that's usually only for breakfast. Like we usually can walk up to Kona Cafe and get in. Yeah. But, um, yeah. So that's why we do what we do with this. And we feel like we get our money out of it. Plus, in the long run, it saves us a few dollars. Because if you look at this, every time you use a table service, unless it's a dinner show, you have to pay a tip. And your tip is gonna be at least $20. $20. Easily. And you're probably looking at 30 bucks for a signature for two people for a tip. So that right there, if you look at it that way, using the snacks for lunch, you don't have to pay a tip for the snacks. So you're paying 20 bucks for a tip here and 30 bucks for a tip here instead of 20, 40, 60. So we're, we're saving $10 a day right there at, at minimal. You know, that's just the number we're throwing off the top of our head, but that's. We're saving a little bit of money that way. So, and something else we do, so there's every day, each of us gets three credits, okay? So we're say we're staying three nights. So there's Pamela's credits. And uh, let's see, that's my first day, second day, third day. Second day, third day. All right, so what we have, each of us has one, or we're going to have nine credits each. So that's 18 credits all together. We're staying three nights. Sunday, or Sunday night, Monday night, Tuesday night. So we're going to be there Sunday through Wednesday. When we get there, we'll get dinner Sunday night. We're going to get up, do our breakfast, and do our signature dining. 
and we're going to do the same thing on Tuesday. Signature dining. Okay. And Wednesday, we're going to have breakfast, and we'll still have two left over, so we might throw, um, stay a little later Wednesday, or try to get checkout time later so we can use those somewhere else, or Sunday night, we can make that a signature dinner. First night there, eat yeah. at a nice restaurant. So that way, all our credits are used up. If you don't use your credits, um, you lost the mouse one. We explained that on um, the quick service video. If you don't use your credits, you're giving Disney your money for free. They if don't you, roll over, you yeah. can't save them for future use. If you do them like this, or you do the three meals a day, you're gonna at least break even, especially if you're getting that alcoholic drink with it or the specialty drink. You're gonna break even. So what you're gonna do um, with these at the end, if you have these left over, the only thing you can do is turn each one of these into three of these. Which you probably have a ton of those left over yeah. because of the amount of food that you have with table services anyway. Yeah, so you would really have to plan. You, you can't just go into the deluxe dining plan without planning your trip. You have to plan every meal that you're going to do. Yeah, if you don't want to plan your reservations for food in advance, you don't want to have to stick to a specific schedule, the deluxe dining plan is not the plan for you. We're going in November, and we're not using the deluxe dining plan, but we're going to be eating like we were close to like we were on it. Um, that way we can make more videos to show y'all. So, um, I started making plans for this back in January. Uh, which restaurants we wanted to go to, uh, which ones for breakfast, which ones for lunch, and even, even which quick service places we might want to try for breakfast or dinner or um, lunch. So we'll, we'll map out what days we want to go to which park so we yeah. get an idea of what's going to be close to where we are. And so what you want to look at is you want to look at which parks are going to have your extra magic hours. You want to look at um, you know, what restaurants are in the parks that you're going to be in. Because if you want to take advantage of the extra magic hours, then you're going to want to plan your meals around where you're going to be at. So if you're at Magic Kingdom, you don't want to, and you're planning on being at Magic Kingdom all day, you don't want to make reservations at Yak and Yeti over in the Animal Kingdom for dinner. It doesn't make sense. You don't want to eat at Tusker House for breakfast that morning if you're going to be in the Magic Kingdom all day. Mm -hmm. Because you don't want to try to have to get from there. Because a lot of times, um, depending on the time of year, they don't have resort or park to park buses out there. So you'd have to take a bus from the park to the resort and from a resort to the other park. And um, that's some, again, something else to keep in mind. You're staying at Polynesian. You have breakfast reservations over at Animal Kingdom for BOMA. All right. You can use the new minivan service that they have, which is, from what I understand, like 20 bucks. Um, they're going to be rolling that out to all the resorts here shortly if they haven't already. Um, you could use that. Or you could jump on a monorail, ride it over to Magic Kingdom, um, or jump on it, depending on where you're at. The best, easiest way we found to get from anywhere is if you're not driving is take a bus from where you're staying to Disney Springs and Disney Springs to whatever park or resort you want to uh, If you're going to a park, you can go straight from your resort. If you're going to a res to another resort for breakfast, like I said, you're staying, you're staying at Pop Century and you want to go to Animal Kingdom, just take a bus over to Disney Springs and then catch a bus from Disney Springs over to uh, Animal Kingdom Lodge. That's typically the easiest way with the less waiting and everything. And the buses won't be as crowded in the morning. Like, if you, if you want to get to the Animal Kingdom, but you take a bus to the Magic Kingdom in the morning. Um, it's going to be busy. Yeah, or even the Animal Kingdom Lodge, it might be busy. Or Animal Kingdom Park, it might be busy trying to get on that bus. So I don't you know take, how early the buses run to Disney Springs. Yeah, it's it's worth checking into. Well, they have uh, breakfast at yeah. T-Rex or Rainforest. Uh, Rainforest has it. And, yeah, so there, there'll be early enough buses. If not, you have to take it from a park straight there or get a taxi. So, now it's a little side note on there. So, to recap the deluxe dining plan, that's three table service, and if you wanted, three quick service credits per day, per person, per night, per person. It's always per night. And two snacks per person, per night. So, three table service or quick service. Again, waste the money, use the table service as much as possible. Um, two snacks and a refillable mug, and those are good for your, the entirety of your stay. 
Um, for the table service, you get the, uh, for lunch and dinner, you get an appetizer, you get an entree, you get a dessert, and you get a drink. And the drink can be whatever, pretty much whatever you want. They'll explain that to you when they scan your magic band. They'll say, you get this, 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 and this. And they'll tell you everything that is available for you. Most of the time, the entire menu is available. Um, breakfast, entree, and a drink, or for any meal, you get, if it's a buffet, you get the buffet. Snacks, you can use those on ice creams. You can use them on milkshakes. Uh, so does the little snap credit um, symbol, little does Disney dining plan symbol will be next to whatever you can use it for. Purple and yeah. white square. So you could use this in from anywhere from a bottle of Coke to a milkshake from Beaches and Cream. Uh, most character dinings that you're looking at are gonna be one table service. Most of you, all of your um, dinner shows, Spirit of Aloha, Mickey's Backyard Barbecue, uh, Hoop to Do Review, those are all two table service credits. And then you have your restaurants that are considered signature or fine dining. Gico, Narcusi, Citricos, Grand California. No, California. California Grill. Yeah, I'm thinking of Grand California. <laughs> I'm sitting there like, wow, what I just. Let's go to Disneyland. Yeah, California Grill at uh, the Contemporary. Those are all signature dinings. Um, and there's a lot more Jinko, Tiffin, um, Yachtsman. Marshall Falls, Marcelier. <laughs> yes. Uh, Boathouse, Morimoto. Those are signature as well, SDK. Brings a good point. In our experience, if you're going to dine at a signature restaurant, do not, not dine at his experience. No. Um, you're getting. It might be signature quality food. It's not signature prices. No. Uh, let's say you, we went to Boathouse, and the prices at the Boathouse, and it's signature, so each of us used two table service credits. The entree prices were closer to what we would yeah. see for table service. For the, sure. the high end of table service, like $35. Yeah. Um, you go to Jico, you're looking at $40, $50 a plate easy. Yeah. So you're getting, and you're getting the different, and the quality of food is a little better at the signature in the resorts. Yes. And we're going to throw this out there as well. Resort dining, better quality food than yeah, you get the at the parks. Um, General Walmart. Yes. If it's a character meal, the quality of food is probably going to be less than the non-character. And also for the heavily themed. Um, so if you're going to Ohana, which is at all you care to eat for dinner, the food was really, really good, and probably one of the better themed table service that we paid for. I love the ukulele player. Yeah. Uh, so we'll do that a little bit. Uh, Liberty Tree Tavern. It's a single table service in the Magic Kingdom. All you care to eat. Yeah. The food is good. The food is good, but it's not as good as the all you care to eat at Ohana. The, I felt the food was better. The quality was better at Ohana. What you're getting in the parks is not as good of quality as what you get in the resorts. And, and I think it may just be the amount of traffic that they get. It's, it's a possibility. Having to turn it over faster. Yeah, but I, I think a lot of it, it's probably some price that, um, math that Disney has went through and done. Because you go to a table service that is a character dining, the food quality is less than that of non-character. If it draws the characters, not the food. Yeah, you're, that's what you're paying for. So, uh, and it's, some people might disagree with us, but that, in our experience, is how it's been. You know, the resorts seem to have the better quality food, especially the signature dining. Um, Yachtsman, uh, the quality of food you get there is just unbelievable. Uh, Narcosi is unbelievable, and the service you get is unparalleled. At the parks, they are so overwhelmed with people in and out of there. At the resorts, you get a little more individual attention. Yeah. So. And um, same thing with Disney Springs. I feel like since they're not Disney-run restaurants, those yes. people aren't cast members. Those people, I didn't mean to say it that way. They're, but it's just not the same level of service in our experience at yeah. Disney Springs as you would get the restaurant yeah. or the resort. And not saying it's bad. It's no. just not. It's. You're not getting the same Disney quality that you're com you come to expect, especially that we come to expect. Being a, going to so many of the different restaurants, we expect a little bit more out of it, and we don't always get that. And when 
we're at Disney Springs. But anyway, that's off topic. Um, again, the, most characters are single table service, the signatures are two, um, and a lot of your restaurants, 50 plus restaurants that are one table service credit. So, the Lux Dining Plan for 2018, $116.24 per adult per night, and that's up $10 from last year, from the 2017-2016. That's $10 more, but they added that specialty drink on there over the, uh, the beer. Yeah, beer, wine, mixed cocktail, um, mixed drink of some sort. And the kids, $39.90, so pretty much $40 for the kid, ages 3 to 9. Um, and they have to order off the kids' menu. Like we said, you go to the signature, they still have to use two table service credits. Um, you can use the quick service in place of a table service, but that's kind of a waste of money. So we don't recommend it. But you get your refillable mug, you can refill them at the resorts as much as you want over and over and over again. There's nowhere at the parks to refill them, so it's kind of an extra bulky thing to carry with you if, <laughs> if you're going to the park. But it's great, um, something you like to do. Maybe fill the mugs up, head back to the room, and we might have brought our own little um, mixed cocktail stuff with us. So maybe like a little rum and coke or Jack Daniels and coke. You know, we brought our own so we can mix it up there in the room. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> no. Uh, anyways, that's the deluxe dining plan. If you have any questions, hopefully we were able to clarify it pretty well for you. If not, if you have a question, please leave it in the comments below. We'll do our best to answer it for you. Um, if you have any requests for restaurants, um, we don't have a trip too soon from now, but I think November time frame, we'll be going back again. Yeah, we'll probably go back before then too. Maybe. Maybe. But so if there are any restaurants that you're interested in that we haven't posted a video for, let us know in the comments. Yeah. Um, check out, if you haven't already, the quick service video we've done. We did one for the Disney dining plan. We did it in three separate videos. That way it's not as long and drawn out as the video we did last year for the dining plan. As much as I'm sure you all loved watching us for 45 minutes rambling. Yes, back. and now 15, 20 minutes of us rambling is not much better. But <laughs> uh, it's a rambling video, we know, but we're trying our best to explain it because we know it could be a headache trying to figure out the dining plan and how it works and if it's worth it for you. So uh, with that said, Thank you for watching Ears First, and we hope to see you again real soon.